What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and in today's review I'm going to be taking a look at the brand new Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class Quintesson Alicon. One of the figures that I was most looking forward to out of this second wave of Deluxes and I've got to say this may be a spoiler for some of my upcoming reviews but this is definitely the best out of wave 2 so far. I think that this figure is a really nice pleasant surprise. Very simplistic in its design and in terms of its transformation but extremely effective. So here we have the Alicon in his beast mode. He looks very reminiscent innocent of a crocodile or an alligator and I think that he looks absolutely fantastic just bringing him in for a closer look so you can check out the detailing to the head sculpt. I absolutely love the molded in detailing here for the teeth and the paint apps are so crisp on this as well. All the multi-layered sections of the teeth make him look incredibly menacing and really authentic and they've actually painted the bottom section of his mouth where his tongue would be red which looks super cool and I just think his colour scheme overall is really nicely done. You've got this lighter shade of blue here for the front section of his mouth, this purple purple section here and the eyes look very piercing. If we turn around to the back I absolutely love the scales that go down the back of his towel and we've also got some really nice detailing here for the arms. You can clearly see the robot mode arms there but quite honestly I am willing to forgive that. This figure is that well done. You can see some really nice paint apps here for the legs as well as the detail is really nice as well. Just overall a superb looking figure. In terms of his articulation his jaw is able to open and close which is super cool. You can also articulate the top of his mouth as well if you wish. The arms are on swivel joints so can swivel up and down. We get a waist joint however it is rather limited in alligator mode due to the back of the tail. The legs are on ball joints so they can move forwards and backwards as well as out to the sides. We do also get a swivel joint here on a mushroom peg, a hinge joint here for the knee and the feet are on these amazing ankle rocker joints which have got this section in here to make the joint look cohesive so that it isn't just a complete dead space in between this so I think that is a really nice attention to detail. You saw towards the beginning of this review that he does come with an accessory. This is actually one of two accessories that he comes with. This is his spear or his spike. This is more used in his robot mode, but you can use it here for his alligator mode or you can just store it on the back via this peg and this port. So you simply just align that up appropriately and snap that into place and that is storage here for him in alligator mode. For a quick Earthrise size comparison, here we have the Alicon compared next to the Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper, as well as leader Earthrise Optimus Prime. And you can see that he is actually on the shorter side of a Deluxe Class, especially if you do have his legs all the way hunched. You can in fact extend these, however, these are more to be extended when we get him into robot mode, but just showing you how he looks with the legs extended in alligator mode, you can see that he is a lot bigger than Cliff Jumper. And believe me, there is a lot more plastic in this figure. This feels really well made, not cheap nor KO like whatsoever, a fantastic looking Alicon figure, really impressed with this release. Getting down now to his transformation, as stated it is relatively really easy, so to begin with you just want to remove the spike section at the back, we can also remove this section of the towel which does become a sword for robot mode, what we can then do is just untap this section here and this will bring it back, now this is almost like an automorph gimmick, as you bring this back the head will indeed shoot up, so just showcasing you that you can see that it does in fact extend. What we're then going to do is take these arms and just rotate these around to the back and we can just unpeg these. You can see a port and a slot there, just untap those and then bring out this crutch plate which will then give you clearance to actually rotate the waist all the way around then just close that crutch plate up. Turning to this section it is indeed on a swivel joint so you're going to want to swivel this around and this tab here will plug into this slot on the head section of his alligator mode so just snap and compress that all in and here we have the Quintesson Alicon fully transformed up in his really awesome, very accurate looking robot mode. So taking a look at the Alicon himself in his robot mode, he is just as accurate as he was in his alt form. I think Hasbro and Takara have done a splendid job on a character that quite honestly I wasn't too hyped about, but upon getting this figure in hand, as I stated, I think that this is the best to come out of wave two so far. Very awesome looking alt form, really fun and enjoyable simplistic transformation, but a very effective transformation which results in a really awesome looking robot mode. Just separating the spike from both of the hands and keeping it in one so that I can show you the details. I think that they've captured the head sculpt and the look of the Alicon in his robot mode amazingly. This looks exactly like it did in the movie. You can see here the paint apps are incredibly crisp. This thing is just completely coated in paint apps as well which is really nice to see. I think the head sculpt is fantastic. The fin is made out of a rather pliable material however it has to be considering the way that the towel does indeed collapse on the head. If it was made out of hard plastic and you misalign something you would probably 
snap that. So that is completely logical. I really do like all of the spikes here on the shoulders as well as the silver and purple detailing here for the torso. And despite the fact that you can see his alt form arms on his real robot mode arms, that doesn't bother me whatsoever. I think that it just adds to the overall look. And seeing as they have spikes protruding from them as well, I just think that it really does blend in rather nicely. You can see here that for the legs, they're exactly the same as they were for robot mode. However, this time you can see more sculpted in detailing towards the top as well as this crutch plate which looks super cool. I just think that this is such an awesome looking figure. In terms of his articulation, the head is on a ball joint so it can look left to right as well as up all the way and then down all the way so it is actually a great range of motion here on this ball joint. The arms can rotate the full 360 as well as hinge out to the sides. However, they are slightly restricted due to this port here on the Alicon's arm. They can also rotate the full 360 as well as hinge at the elbow. Full 360 degree rotation here for the wrists as well as a waist articulation joint which is mainly due to transformation but is slightly hindered due to the crutch plate as well as the huge towel on the back. The legs can kick forwards that far as well as back to about that far. He can do the split, rotate the full 360 here at the fire, bend 90 degrees here at the knee and as you saw in his alligator mode he also has got ankle pivot allowing for a great range of motion there so quite frankly I cannot fault the articulation on this figure whatsoever. Just bringing in the other accessory that we got from his towel you can see that this too has been sculpted really nicely and I think that it definitely does blend in with the overall aesthetic. Of course you can peg this on this arm as well to make him look like a barbarian which I think is really awesome and I think the detailing and the paint apps on the spike as well are really nicely done. This is definitely the the army builder out of the way and seeing as how awesome this figure is and the fact that he is an army builder I can definitely imagine this figure being extremely hard to find on the shelves upon its release. For a quick size comparison, here I have the Alicon compared next to Earthrise Cliffjumper as well as Earthrise Wheeljack, and you can see that he's in the middle between the two deluxes. Wheeljack is your more traditional scaled deluxe class and your average scaled deluxe for Earthrise, whereas Cliffjumper is the smallest deluxe I believe we've got for the War for Cybertron trilogy, and you can see that he is in the middle. However, I think that he more than makes up for it in terms of how much he weighs. The figure has got no real hollow gaps besides from the back of the arms, but other than that, the figure is solid plastic and he really does feel like a very weighty and really well-built figure so I can definitely see where the plastic distribution went on this one and I just think that he's amazing as I stated I had no hype about this figure whatsoever but I'm so glad that I picked it up as it's definitely one of the best in the wave. For another size comparison here we have the Alicon compared next to the recently released leader class double dealer as well as the largest deluxe class figure that we've gotten for Earthrise so far deluxe class hoist and just comparing these two you can see that he is considerably shorter than that of Hoist. However, I do believe this to be movie accurate, as in the movie, the Alicons were considerably smaller than, I believe, it was Hot Rod and Cup. So definitely, I think that he scales really nicely with some of the other Earthrise figures. And when comparing the weight distribution, quite honestly, he almost does feel as if though he weighs the same amount as Hoist. So the plastic distribution, whilst he may be a slightly smaller figure, I definitely think that he fills out in terms of his broadness, as well as the fact that there are literally no hollow parts on this figure other than on the back of the legs. I think that this is a really nicely done deluxe class. Now turning to reverse transformation, of course you just want to remove the Alicon sword and we can just peg this back into the towel. You can see there is a small slot in there we can just take this and peg it in. It would be nice if this section could peg all the way in to fill out this slot. I'm not entirely sure why there is this slot, but it doesn't peg in any further than that, which is quite unfortunate as it does leave a gaping hole in the back of the tail. But quite honestly, I don't think it looks too bad. Just remove the spear, set that off to the side. What I then like to do is you can see the slots in the torso as well as the tabs on the arms. So just align these up and snap those into place and repeat the same process here. So just align that up, snap that into place. We can then rotate the alligator arms out. We can then align the head up appropriately and you're going to want to take this section here and just disconnect it from the main head. We can then rotate this section around and now we'll come to this piece and fold out the crutch plate, rotate the waist around, collapse the crutch plate down. And as you saw when we transform this from alligator mode into robot mode, there is almost this automorph gimmick that when you do rise the alligator head, the head does slightly sink. However, for transformation from robot mode into alligator mode, this is something that you have to do yourself. So just collapse the head into this cavity and there is a small slot in there that this fin section will in fact fit into. So just align that up appropriately, ensuring that that goes in there. And you can see the two slots here and here that these tabs will peg into. So just snap those firmly into place, collapse the head down for the Alicon mode. 
just orientate his legs in the proper configuration. Take the spear and he can either hold it or you can peg it into the back for weapon storage. And there we have the Alicon completely transformed up into his awesome looking alligator mode. So there was my review for the Transformers Earthrise Deluxe Class Alicon. Personally, as I've stated throughout this review, I think that this is a fantastic release. Definitely my favourite out of Wave 2 Deluxe so far. And it's probably better than some of the Deluxes that we got in Wave 1. I really do think that this figure is really well made. I really do think that this figure is one of the best. And that may just be my own personal preference. Some of you may completely disagree with me. But just handling this figure, he feels leaps and bounds better than his Wave Mate RC. And he actually feels better than some of the other Deluxes in the Wave. He's incredibly well built, his transformation is fast, simple but yet effective, he looks amazing in his alligator mode as well as in his robot mode, very accurate to the scene that we saw the Alicons in in the movie. And now I just can't wait to army build this guy in order to surround and protect the Quintesson Judge. I'm really looking forward to the Voyager class Quintesson Judge that is soon to be released. So definitely if you're going to pick up the Quintesson Judge, then you're going to want to get some of the Quintesson Guards. Really awesome looking figure and definitely one that I will be trying to track down more of. So that was my review on the Transformers Deluxe Class Alicon. Do you agree with my thoughts in this video? If you do, please do let me know down in the comment section below. And until my next review, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.